Have you ever tried creating a financial plan to save money? You might have heard of the term business budgeting at work if you did. Budgeting is a useful method to help you avoid overspending. So, what do you need to know and where do you need to start? In this video, we'll explain the importance of budgeting and discuss different types of budgets, their benefits and the best budgeting tools. Keep watching! First things first, what exactly is budgeting? Budgeting is a plan for your money. It's all about understanding how much money you have coming in and how much money is going out. By tracking this, you can make informed decisions about your spending and how much you can save. A budget isn't just a list of numbers. It's a tool that helps you manage your financial life. Whether you're saving for a new gadget, a vacation, or just trying to pay off a debt. A budget is your roadmap to achieving those goals. Think of it as a way to ensure your money is working for you and not the other way around. Now that we've covered what budgeting is, let's talk about why it's so crucial. One of the biggest benefits of budgeting is that it gives you control over your money. Without a budget, it's easy to lose track of where your money is going. You might find yourself wondering why you are always short at the end of the month. A budget helps you see exactly where your money is going and lets you make adjustments as needed. If you have goals like buying a house, traveling or building an emergency fund, budgeting is essential. By setting aside a certain amount each month, you can gradually save up for these goals without feeling overwhelmed. It turns big dreams into achievable milestones. Have you ever wondered why your bank balance is lower than you expected? Without a budget, it's easy to overspend on things that aren't necessary. A budget helps you prioritize your spending and avoid those where did all my money go moments. Money can be a major source of stress. Not knowing if you'll have enough to cover expenses can keep you up all night. Budgeting helps reduce this stress by providing a clear plan for your money. When you know your bills are covered and you have a plan for your spending, you can breathe a little easier. So how do we create one? Now let's break down the steps to create a budget. Whether you're just starting out or looking to fine tune your financial plans, these steps will help you get on track. Let's dive in. Step 1. Determine your income. The first step in creating a budget is knowing how much money you have coming in. This is your income. It can include your regular salary after taxes and deductions, your side hustles like what I'm doing right now, or any extra money that you make from freelance works, gigs, or side jobs. It can also be your income from dividends, interest, or rental properties. Calculate your total monthly income. If your monthly income varies, try to estimate an average based on the last few months. Step 2 is to track your expenses. You need to know where your money is going. This involves tracking your expenses. Breaking them down into categories such as fixed expenses, which are your regular unchanging costs like rent, mortgage payments, insurance, and subscriptions. The second type of expense, variable expenses. These are expenses that fluctuate every month and include things like groceries, utility bills, transportation bills. And lastly, discretionary spending. This are money spent on non-essential items such as dining out, entertainment, and hobbies. Step 3 is to set your goals. Setting financial goals gives you something to work toward and keeps you motivated. Your goals can be short-term or long-term and these might include emergency fund or savings save 3-6 to six months worth of expenses for unexpected situations, paying off credit card balances, student loans or other debts. Putting money aside for vacation, a new car or down payment for a house can be your goal as well. Write down all your goals and prioritize them. Knowing what you're working toward will help you stay focused and importantly, disciplined. Step 4 is to create a plan. With your income, expenses and goals in mind, it is time to create a budget plan. Follow these steps. First, list your income. Second, list your expenses. Third, 
subtract expenses from income, and this will show you how much money you have left after covering your expenses. If you're spending more than you're earning, you'll need to cut back. Step 5. Allocate your funds. Now, allocating your money towards your expenses and goals is the fifth step. Prioritize essentials such as housing, food and transportation. Then distribute what's left toward your financial goals. For example, if your goal is saving an emergency fund, then allocate a portion of this income until you reach your target. If your goal is debt reduction, make extra payments on high interest debt and pay it off faster. For savings and investments, set aside money for your short-term and long-term goals. Step 6. Monitor your budget. A budget isn't a one and done deal. It's a living document that requires regular review and adjustments. Here's how to stay on track. Keep an eye on your daily expenses and ensure you're sticking to your budget. At the end of each month, compare your actual spending to your budgeted amounts. Adjust where necessary. If you consistently overspend in one category, consider reallocating funds from another category. Budgeting tools are essential for managing personalized finances effectively, and they come in various forms to suit different needs and preferences. These tools range from simple spreadsheets to advanced apps with multiple features. Understanding the basics of budgeting tools can help you choose the right one and make the most of it. First off, spreadsheets are a classic choice. Programs such as Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets provide such templates for budgeting, which you can customize to fit your financial situation. They allow you to input your income, track your expense, and calculate your savings. While this method requires a bit of manual entry and upkeep, it is highly customizable and free if you already have access to these programs. For those who prefer something more automated, there are many budgeting apps available. Apps such as Mint, YNAB, and Every Dollar are popular choices. Mint links your bank account, credit card, and other financial institutions to automatically track your transactions. It categorizes expenses and provides a visual breakdown of where your money is going. You can then set budget limits for different categories, and Mint will alert you if you exceed them. This automation saves time and provides a clear picture of your financial health without much effort. YNAB, on the other hand, follows a different philosophy. It emphasizes giving every dollar a job and focusing on future expenses rather than just tracking past transactions. The app encourages you to plan for expenses, both predictable and unexpected, to avoid leaving paycheck to paycheck. YNAB also offers educational resources and a supportive community to help you stay on track. Every Dollar is an app created by financial guru Dave Ramsey, and this aligns with his budgeting principles. It promotes a zero-based budgeting method, where every dollar of your income is allocated to specific expenses, savings, or debt repayment. This app is user-friendly and integrates with Ramsey's other financial tools and resources. For those who enjoy visual representations, apps such as Pocket Guard and Good Budget provide clear and straightforward interfaces. Pocket Guard connects to your financial account and shows how much spendable money you have after accounting for bills, goals, and necessities. Good budget is based on an envelope system, where you allocate money to virtual envelopes for different categories. Once an envelope is empty, you can't spend more in that category, helping you stick to your budget. Another useful tool is personal capital, which combines budgeting with investment tracking. It's ideal for those who want a comprehensive view of their finances including retirement planning and wealth management. Personal capital provides detailed insights into your spending and helps you plan for long-term financial goals. Budgeting tools are not limited to apps and spreadsheets. Some people prefer to use cash envelopes, a tangible method where you can divide your cash into envelopes for each spending category. This method makes the spending limit clear and helps you stay within your budget. 
It's a great way to control impulse spending and be mindful of your financial habits. Choosing the right budgeting tool depends on your personal preferences and financial goals. Some might find a simple spreadsheet sufficient, while others benefit from the advanced features and automation of a budgeting app. Regardless of the tool you choose, the key to successful budgeting is consistency. Regularly updating your budget, review your expenses, and adjusting as needed will help you stay on track and achieve your financial goals. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips on managing your money. See you next time.